and dropped off a bounty of veggies. I have corn and peppers and squash. Um, so we're not gonna eat all of this anytime soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook some of the squash with onions tonight with dinner, um, kind of Southern style, and then I'm going to pickle some of them squash. I'm gonna blanch and freeze the corn, and I will probably uh, just cut up and freeze the peppers as well. Um, so let me just clear the decks here, and then we'll get started. So I've washed all of our veg off. I am now going to um, get started first making, making this pickling brine. Um, and I chose this recipe because um, you don't have to cook the brine first. With a lot of pickling brines, you have to actually cook them. And this one is supposed to keep the veg really crisp, and you should be able to keep them in the fridge for about a month. So let's just get started. I'm gonna first measure out a cup of white wine vinegar or white vinegar. This is just white vinegar, distilled white that I have here. And I know this is not a liquid measuring cup, but this isn't baking, so I'll take some liberties. So I also have a cup of water that I'm gonna add here. Then the recipe actually calls for a full quarter cup of salt, but I don't want it to be salty because we're gonna eat this as a side dish in the future. So I'm only gonna use about a teaspoon of pickling salt. I'm also gonna add in, instead of sugar, I'm adding in about a tablespoon of agave. is it. There's your pickling liquid. I'm going to set this to the side and now get started cutting up our vegetables. I think squash is just, I consider it to be a, a southern dish because in my house my dad is from Alabama and whenever we had squash it seems like he was always the one that was either cooking it or initiating the cooking of, of squash. My mom loves it and she makes delicious squash. But I just remember as a kid, my dad being the one that would get the squash started. Um, and you see, I'm keeping the slices to about half an inch, quarter of an inch to half of an inch thick. And I'm doing that because I don't want them to disintegrate into the liquid. I want them to still keep a little bit of bite. Okay. Again, for the ones that are large, we're gonna cut those in half. The other thing I have here that I'm gonna add to this is onion. This is a medallion onion, they're really sweet. And um, I think they're gonna complement the squash really nicely. So I'm just cutting up some, some of the onion. I don't wanna overpower it with onion. The vinegar and the salt make sure it's gonna be quite um, pungent. And we don't wanna take away from the squash taste. So we'll start layering in our vegetables. Um, I'm also going to add a few cloves of garlic, whole, some red hot pepper flakes, and a bit of celery seed. So I'm just going to start layering. spicy 
You can obviously do this in a larger pickling jar. I'm using what I have. I didn't want to go out and buy any more um, jars. I have a ton of these this size. I just find them easier. And you see how I'm just kind of freehanding this? It's not a whole lot. It's not rocket science. Not a lot to it. Um, <coughs> okay. And now, whew, those are powerful. I'm gonna just pour it over our brining liquid. until they're covered. Easy peasy. And that is our first um, squash dish, what we're gonna do first. Now, next I'm gonna to put together um, a freezer bag of squash and onions. And that is gonna serve as dinner on a weeknight. So we've got some right here already sliced and then I'll grab a few more. So we'll freeze these right with the onions. It'll just be veg in a bag, ready to go. So because I need this onion for dinner tonight also, I'm gonna cut up the entire thing so that we can have enough for the second batch of squash that we're gonna do also. But this guy is now ready for the freezer. So I cleaned up a little bit and I wanted to, I also brought over some bread that I want to talk about with you. Um, I actually made this bread a second time. I made one last Sunday and it was really good, but I didn't put enough herbs in it. And what it is is a whole wheat, oat, whole grain wheat, oat and herb bread. It was delicious last week, but I just felt like I needed more rosemary and more um, just more herbs in it. So this week I made it and um, I can't wait to cut into it because I doubled the amount of rosemary that I pulled from my herb garden, from my herb garden, and I pulled some winter savory. Why it's called winter savory, I had no idea, but I'm gonna find out. I also pulled some lemon thyme this time. No pun intended. Um, and this I think is gonna be really delicious. It just came out, the, the crust is very nice and nicely browned, as you can see. I really just wanted to have you, and it baked in an hour in my bread machine, an hour and 20 minutes to be exact. Um, but I just really want you to be more adventurous in your kitchen. This was a matter of dumping the ingredients right into the bread maker, and you end up with your house just smells wonderful. So my house all day, um, because I, I baked it earlier, has been smelling like um, a bakery with herbs and just rosemary, my absolute favorite um, herb. So be adventurous. Be adventurous in your kitchen. You can do it. Okay, now back onto the squash. Um, this is what we're doing for dinner. I'm gonna fry chicken and have the squash with onions. And I'm going to do kale um, because I have some kale in my fridge that I need to. I have kale in my fridge that I need to cook up. Um, so yeah, and because squash is such a starchy vegetable, I definitely don't want to do a rice. Um, it would be overkill here, so I'm going to just do the um, squash and onions. We'll put them all there. We'll do the squash and onions for dinner tonight. And um, along with the fried chicken. 
that homemade bread with some butter and some of the strawberry jam that we made homemade um, on a different episode if you haven't seen that definitely check it out I'll put a link in the um, details so that you can check that out you know it'll just add a little sweetness to the meal having that herb bread with a little butter and some homemade strawberry jam with fried chicken squash with onions that are just sauteed so nicely and then um, the kale it's just going to be a very southern meal stay tuned i'm going to show you exactly what that uh, squash is going to look like when we're done here that you can do when you get a bunch of squash. You can cook them for dinner that, that day. You can um, slice and freeze them, or you can pickle them in a very simple pickling brine. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey, remember to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Let me know what you think. Tell me what you'd like to see me cook in the kitchen, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.